Oh man, I knew I shouldn't wear mascara today. <laughs> ah, there's so much videos to show, but at the same time, it's like I've been trying to take care of everybody, <laughs> my kids, my work, everybody. The things that's going on with uh, you guys know I do have a petition campaign. If you check on my link in my bio. My best friend and colleague is going to an injustice so if you can just sign the petition please and share it if you can um but i was just crying because i'm seeing these beautiful like it's just amazing how these protesters uh in every all around the world how they step step fast and they get together and it shows me m multiple times now that we protect ourselves community protects us I, I'm still like, and then when you look at the news, the way that they portray these peaceful protests, because, and then we see it too, we know it, we see the internally, we see the protests that tell us that we are not doing anything. We are literally just telling them to defund, to divest from, stop uh, genocide. That's all they're asking. And you're seeing all these people, psychopathic and sadists and fascist freaking people. Uh, first of all, that's another thing that I got a confirmation today and I was like, oh my God, God. But he showed me uh, the money sign and then he showed me the USA currency, like the money, like a dollar sign. And then he was showing me, uh, he showed me the cups, like the, the initials, like the, the tag of the cups. And also, um, I, I know it's going to make people feel some type of way, but um, whenever he shows me sign is a, as a as a human i don't see i see the human as a body but i see he shows me beyond the body so i see the demon like i see a very disgusting creature like i wish i could show you guys it's kind of like if you not that i'm endorsing stranger things and please do not watch i boycott that too okay but it's kind of like that but even more gross okay and these people have no idea. They're unconscious. They don't know that they have this inside them. Because at the end of the day, remember, the enemy does not, the demons don't care about your soul. They don't want your soul. They want your life. They want to live your life, which is why they need you to be stuck in addictions and doing horrendous things and not prayer and all that stuff so that they can take over. Yes, they want your life. And a lot of people who do evil things, it doesn't come from you. It comes from something else that goes into you, especially when you give yourself away. It's kind of like you give your soul away when you do evil things, when you lie, cheat, when you do all the things that God, you know, God does not want, right? That's automatically re takes away your protection, takes away your intuition. It reduces your discernment and right away you're open, you are open portal for the dark world that we live in right they were trying to change and they know that this is why there's retaliation as well but another thing he kept showing me 3.5 3.5 so i remember that i was looking at this thing uh from giggity i think it's giddy giggity like you know that she always posted did you know that and then she keeps talking about that and he showed me um the 3.5 rule there is a 3.5 rule that the government and politicians they know it there's 11.5 million people protesting that it brings a massive change okay so today he was showing me 3.5 percent so everyone in the world if there's 3.5 people out there protesting they have to stop a genocide oh like they it's by law they know that this is why they send the cops. This is why they're paying Zionists to attack the protester to the, the, even the universities. Shame on you, motherfuckers. Shame on you. You're going to get, you have a, there's a special place. For those who are not divesting from funding a genocide, you're going to get it too. And same thing with the companies who are funding this too. Others of you, please download No Thanks, and I need you to please, after you use it, to write a review, okay? They're attacking No Thanks app as well. That is what right now is helping us, all of us, not to have financial debt, financial karmic debt, sorry, right? Because I told you guys that every time you support anything that is funding a genocide, not only you create, not only that's just wrong in every possible way, and you should normalize it or be complicit. But 
also in terms of spiritual sense, you are breaking generational financial curses that have been put in these companies by the most high. And they're trying to bypass it and trying to pass it to you. So they don't have to take accountability for it. Sounds familiar? Also, keep standing up to the gaslighting energy. There's a lot, right? There's a lot. There's so I've never seen so much hate. So much hate comments, so much hate things before <laughs> like now that everything is on full that the veil is very like literally on our faces you see the hate you see the people and then they call us hateful they're called us why we're hateful because we want you to stop a genocide so us wanted to stop a genocide and ethnic and cleansing people and not just the palestine and the congo and sudan we are the hateful ones and then once they attack that's another thing guys make sure that you are recording and talking about it do not stay silent about this this is the the normal one narcissist uh, energy they cannot you cannot expose them that's their normal one thing do expose them do not stay silent that's their motto they attack you they lie about you defamation of character they attack you they do all these things and then thinking that oh they don't have any community or anybody to defend them they're just by themselves right then they act like a victim after after they you know what i'm saying but right now we're seeing the Zionists after they attack and also by the way father god wants to confirm that to you they're paid the cops are paid the Zionists are paid to attack these protesters to basically to stop from getting that 3.5 percent population also the same thing with the censorship and suppression of the videos and stuff like that i i see a lot of you they're getting like removal or like it's very strange like this is super weird but then again for me this is a win and for a lot of you this is a win because that means that we really are putting the pressure and they're very scared of us the whole world reaching and i think we're ready to reach it already it's just that they just don't want to you know they want to try to see if they can continue going above law they cannot we are the people they get paid through us right we talked about that right so father god wants to confirm that to you guys that at the end of the day, you hold the power, you hold the, the, the say, okay? And other than that, he kept saying 3.5, just continue, stand, stand your ground. You are protected. You are divine together. You are on the right side of history and God. Glory be to God, inshallah. It's going to happen. Free Palestine, free Congo and Sudan. But right now our focus, yes, is free Palestine and university and stuff like that. But don't forget to continue all eyes on Rafa and Gaza, okay? You have to continue uh, posting and sharing. She can continue doing the best that you can, okay? Remember, those things also is part of a distraction as well. They want to distract people. Like they saw that too. Make sure that you're talking to people. You're showing the videos if they don't have access to social media. For example, I've met a lot of people so far like talking about it. Like they have no idea what's going on. But they say the news have portrayed these protesters and, uh, you know, how they protest um, the resistance as the bad guys and stuff like that. But then it's like when they see you and you talk about it and you explain to them and you help them to educate themselves, guide them through books and stuff like that. Right away, they're like, oh, no. OK. You know, so a lot of us, we are the the. For the state, the, the system, all the propaganda, the trillion dollars that they have spent, we are the ones who, again, we are breaking all of that. We're exposing the truth. The truth tellers, that's your job. God wants you to be doing that, no matter what. Okay? Do not let them make you lose your humanity and your heart. That's the one thing we have to keep. And that's what the protesters are showing you. And that's what the Palestinians have been fighting this for seven decades. This is what they're been fighting. Hello? Now they need their help. Now they need their community. We are the community. We protect ourselves. Pro-Palestinian protect themselves. Same thing with LGBTQ communities. Same thing with the Black Lives Matter. We protect ourselves. Okay? Remember that. I love you guys. Free Palestine.